Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you a few examples of plywood cutting. Actually we're going to cut special laser ply. So it's over here. So different sheets. All of them like 3 and 3.5 millimeters. So it's like 3 16th uh, inch. And what is very important to know that you need to take care of density of the material. So if the material, the piece of plywood should be easily bent and it should be quite light. The average density should not be more than uh, 0.5 grams on one cubical centimeter. So it means that it's lighter than water. Some pieces of plywood are really, really dense and have densities closer to 0.7, actually some even 0.8 grams on one cubical centimeter. And they are very hard to cut even with saw and CO2 laser. So what we have here, we have uh, our 10 watt laser with a new air assist uh, nozzle. So we actually made a, a little extension for it, for it and we're going to use regular three element lens. It's also good for laser cutting. And uh, so this is a tube connected here and our air compressor is here. To, to make an efficient laser cutting you need a compressor at least with uh, 50 liters per minute capacity. So if you have more than that you'll do fine. So let's put uh, uh, one piece and let's do some some cuttings. Just want to make sure that uh, make sure before that your laser is in focus. It's very easy to make. We have a special focusing uh, system on our laser box. It means it, you need to turn on on the first position. And uh, here is one. We have a video explaining in details how to work properly with a laser box. So and uh, yeah, I can see that uh, we actually are in focus. We have this wonderful aluminum plate that we we send yeah, and we are pretty much we are good. So uh, let me turn on the air compressor, it will be a little bit noisy and then we'll start cutting process. Don't forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser, probably need to decrease the uh, value of uh, light sensitivity on my camera, so I use the ISO 400. Yeah, and uh, the speed is 300 millimeters per minute, and I do actually four passes. You can do it less, you can do it more. Okay, yeah, I think we didn't cut it because the this thing is trembling a little bit. Let me put it on the floor. Okay, yeah, now I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it's much better. It was trembling and after each repeat it did not hit <laughs> the same the same place. So why I like uh, three element lens that uh, it has pretty high focal depth and yes you need this extension to be able to cut well. So <laughs> you can see Perfect, perfectly clean edge. So let's uh, cut something more dense. Let's use this 3.5 millimeter. And also, we're going to cut with five repeats, and the speed is the same 300.
On 3D printer it's much easier to cut because you can adjust uh, your uh, z-axis just to decrease this all the time. Once you made one pass, just to remain in focus, but using uh, three element lens it's important. So you see what was done, almost done. But and the, the edge is absolutely clear. Probably I would say that if you make like four repeats, it would be perfect. It's actually a good example that you can use uh, more repeats and higher speed. So for example, you can use 100 millimeter per minute and uh, also uh, decrease amount of repeats. So here's another piece. Uh, yeah, I think we will do fine with only three passes. So let's see. We cut cuts with three passes only. Yeah, <laughs> it's even probably two passes would be enough. So you see that it's actually even escaped from from the initial place. Yeah, so uh, this noisy thing. So um, yeah, I hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends and have wonderful laser experience with our 10 watt laser. Uh, this. 10 watt pro actually and our new air nozzle version too i'm sure you will like it very much if you have any questions let me know email me gf at endurancerobots.com or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three oh two have a great laser cutting bye bye